So you have a mobile and you wish you could make a game there. Your search is over as in this video I'll be showing you how to create this amazing game. In this third part we're gonna write the code with which we'll move the player. So okay once you have all uh, your buttons created we're gonna select the app button go here to the node and here we have a, a signal a pressed signal okay and when we connect this to our player script what is gonna happen is that when our button is pressed the code that we write here is gonna be run so in this case if for example right here we write print print is a function that is gonna show a message okay uh, pressing uh, actually going up okay so now we are gonna do the exact same thing but with the down button okay so here select down button down button okay node pressed we connect it to the correct script and then here we print print okay going down you must use all these symbols okay now and uh, let's click play the thing is that actually in Goodjot, in Goodjot Mobile, I think that you can't see these messages by using a print. But well, then we're gonna check them. So let's click firstly uh, two times up and one time down. Then we're gonna go back. Okay. And as you can see here, I have two messages of going up and two and one message of going down. So that's correct. Now that we have checked that, it's very important that in our player we disable the gravity because now if you remember our player is like in the center of our screen or is uh, vertically, I mean. So if you uh, really pay attention what's what's happening when I play is that the player falls down until it reaches the collision shape we created before. So let's play it and you're gonna see how the player falls down. It's super quick. So let's just wait. And as you can see, it's fallen down. And of course, we don't have that here. So you just set gravity scale to zero. Like this. Now in our script, we're gonna create a variable. A variable basically stores any kind of value, okay? So uh, to, the, to create a variable, we are gonna uh, write bar. This is the keyword to create a variable. Then we give it a name. In this case, in this case, movement. And uh, we assign it a value of vector two dot zero. Okay. Vectors just store two values: an x value and a y value. Okay. And by saying vector two dot zero is creating a vector 2 with values 0 and 0, 0 both in X and in Y. So now when we press the on button, we want to modify this um, this variable to be, in this case, as we are pressing the button up, vector 2 dot up. Okay, why up? Because vector 2 dot up is the same as saying this. 0 in X and 1 in Y. Something quite weird about Goodjot is that positive, num positive numbers of the Y value are actually um, on the bottom. I mean, for example, if we want to move it down, the, the most logical would be that the Y value should be negative, but as you can see, it's positive. Whereas if we want to move it up, the value is negative, so it's actually the opposite of common sense, let's say. So if we press uh, the up button, we want to actually set it to vector 2 dot down because we want to modify the position with a negative number so that it goes up. And the same thing will happen when we press the down button, but will be the opposite so it's gonna be vector 2 dot up okay vector 2 dot up i know it's quite confusing but you're gonna see that when i write some code this will take so much sense then we're also gonna need 
speed variable so you are also gonna create it right here and you're gonna assign any value you want in my case for example let's set it to something like 400 then we are gonna create a, a function that is called physics process delta and this function is used to modify physics bodies or uh, to create behaviors related to physics so in this case we're gonna modify our linear velocity to our movement variable times our speed also here in our rigid body settings we're gonna check this uh, box here lock rotation and well now as you can see when we press the buttons our uh, player is moving however um, the buttons uh, aren't correct as you can see i haven't set uh, correctly the vector because this is the up button as you can see it doesn't go up it goes down whereas this goes down so uh, they aren't correct but it's quite simple to correct it we just have to modify here in our code this is gonna be vector to up and this is just gonna be vector to down okay vector to down now when we click play we're gonna check that in fact if we click here it goes down and here goes down so this player movement is working thanks a lot for watching subscribe to the channel and remember to like and comment if this video was helpful thanks again and have an amazing day